Hey, Chris Ferdinandi here with another Vanilla JS quick tip. Let's get into it. My solutions often use a pattern called the early return pattern. With the early return pattern, you check for the opposite of the thing that you want and return early to end the function when that's the case. This reduces nested if statements and makes your code a bit easier to read. Want to make sure the event target has the save class? You check if it doesn't and return when that's the case. Same with the data ID attribute or a token item saved in local storage. Written without the early return pattern, the same code might look a bit like this. The more if statements you have and the more that nesting occurs, the harder and harder it becomes to read. So using the early return pattern can help you avoid having these deep nested if statements. And now obviously this is a pretty exaggeratory example, but it's not uncommon to have a function that checks for multiple things and becomes increasingly conditional on those things being true. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and maybe even share it with someone else who you think might enjoy it. You can also get my daily developer tips newsletter over at gomakethings.com where every weekday I share a new tip, trick, tool, or vanilla JS snippet to help you build a simpler and more resilient web. Thanks so much for watching.